In this lesson, we're just going to work a little bit more with multiplying numbers that have multiple digits. And we're going to focus on uh, much larger numbers than we have in previous examples. So let's take a look at 8,795 times 631. Again, we want to have the number with the most digits on top. And the other one, of course, on bottom. So this is the first time that we've multiplied by a number that has more than two digits um, as the bottom number. So um, we'll see what to do with that. But we're going to start by just going through the process like we would if we had a two-digit number on bottom. And so we understand that what we would do first is to start multiplying the ones place in 631 by each digit up above. And since it's a 1, that's really nice. Makes that real easy. So 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 7 is 7. And 1 times 8 is 8. Now forget about the 6 for a second. Don't worry about it. If it was just a 31 on bottom, we know what we would do. We would put a 0 here because the 3 is in the tens place. And then we would start multiplying 3 by each digit. So 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times uh, 9 is 27, plus 1 is 28. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 2 is 23. And then 3 times 8 is 24, plus 2 is 26. So now let's deal with this 6 that's in the hundreds place. Now before I do anything else, um, always a good thing to do is after you're done carrying from, um, from multiplying by one of your digits in the bottom number, before you go to the next one, either erase or scratch out those digits so that you don't confuse them with digits you're carrying later. So now when we get to this 6, this is in the hundreds place. So if you had to guess at what to do, you would probably guess right. Because here we were in the tens place and we added one zero. Since we're multiplying by the digit in the hundreds place, we're going to start by adding two zeros. And then begin multiplying. So 6 times 5 is 30. So another zero. But we're carrying the 3 right here. 6 times 9 is 54, plus 3 is 57. So we put the 7 there, carry the 5 right here. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 5 is 47. And then finally, 6 times 8 is 48, plus 4 is 52. And so now we know that we're just going to add all of these up. So we have a 5 here. 14 there, 16 there, and what do we get, 19 there, 14, 5, and a 5. And so it looks like, put a comma there and a comma there, our answer is 5,549,645. Now this next problem has similar a similar setup, but this will actually take us a little less time if we take some uh, shortcuts that are allowed to us here. So again, I'll put the number with the most digits up here, 7,037, and 801 goes on bottom. So I'm going to start by multiplying my ones place in 801 to all the digits up here. And so that's going to give me a 7, a 3, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 7 is 7. Now, at this point, we could move to the tens place, and I could add a 0 here, but let's understand what we're going to get if we do that. If I go through and put a zero here and start multiplying zero by each digit, I know I'm just going to get zeros throughout that entire row because zero times anything is zero. So let's save ourselves a little bit of work 
and understand that I'm going to get all zeros out of my tens place. So that means I can completely skip it. But what I need to remember is when I go to this 8 now, the 8 is in the hundreds place. So even though it's only going to be the second row in my multiplication, I need to put two zeros there. 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 5 is 29. 8 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. And then 8 times 7 is 56. So we add those up. And it looks like we end up with 5,636,637.